beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. If you want to stick around and see more of me, please turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. Introducing Nomad Cosmetics brand new Love and Death palette. This is inspired by Romeo and Juliet. This is an 18 pan intense color palette for $47. You can use code RIRI10 for 10% off. I love the duality here of having the beautiful cool tone nine pan palette and a warm tone nine pan palette. We are going to swatch these out on our fingers. I will note, you will see this in the video itself. I will note that these shimmer formula in this is very, very hard pressed. I will say that I personally don't think that it's super beginner friendly, but you will see the swatches are beautiful and it also performed well on the lids. Um, this launches tonight at midnight, technically 12.01 a.m. Eastern, and it is not a limited edition. I love the two looks that I did with this palette, as you're going to see in the video. Make sure you comment down below which look is your favorite. And thank you so much to Nomad Cosmetics for sending me this beautiful palette. All right, beauty, so as you saw by the intro, we are going to be demoing and testing out the Nomad Cosmetics Verona Amore e Morte palette, or Love and Death palette. You would have already seen up close shots and everything else, so I'm literally just going to dive right on in. I'm going to do two looks. We'll do one warm tone look and one cool tone look. I'm going to prime with my Glam Light Icing Eye Base in Buttercream, and I will be RB. Very quickly, before we dive in, I also got a little closer for y'all. Um, you guys know that I do have dry lids, dry textured skin, but I do also have a little cut right here. I got myself with my tweezers. So we're going to ignore that because obviously the shadows are not going to lay properly right there. I'm just noting that for you guys ahead of time. I am so excited. I also want to say too, kind of like while I'm getting ready to get started, it's so funny because I was talking to somebody else about maybe possibly doing a collab down the line. And then when I talked about that particular collab, I was telling my husband about it. And I was like, you know what would be amazing? Like if I had my own brand or could collab, I would want to do a 12 pan palette. And call it loves me loves me not with like you know a signature writing or like a le way you write the way you would write a letter that says loves me loves me not 12 pans the top was going to be an icy like white shifty shade with like pink and lilac in it and then light pinks dark pinks into red and then the bottom row was going to be an icy like blue shade um and then like blues grays black purple and then I saw this color story and I about shit my pants. <laughs> um, you guys know I love, love, love Nomad Cosmetics. You can use code RIRI10 for 10% off. That's not affiliated. That is for you guys. But I was just like, I thought that was so freaking hilarious that, you know, I thought of that. And then I saw this. I was like, that's, that's pretty crazy. I think I want to just go very, very dark here. I do like that each side goes light to dark. And I love the balance of mattes to shimmers. I hope that this performs well. I'm excited to get in. I'm going in right now with the shade Dagger. I will say it's a little cumbersome to try to hold if you're somebody that holds a palette through the duration of your makeup application or you use the mirrors in an you know in an application. I don't. I use mine down here. So I'm going to go in with the shade Dagger. A little bit of kickback, but picks up great on the brush. And I'm going to put this right in my crease. And for most of us, we can kind of stay right here in that little socket area and kind of put the product or the eyeshadow in there. But if I open up my eyes and that's the only place I've placed it, we don't see it. So because I do have hooded lids, I kind of push into the crease, kind of lean my head back a little bit, and then come slightly above my crease so you can see the work that I am doing. I hope everybody is well. Um, do you celebrate Valentine? Are you an anti-Valentine type of person? Um, that was kind of my thinking or my concept with just talking about, you know, if I could do that palette. Um, it was more for me, this is like love and death. That one was more like, you know, Valentine, anti-Valentine. Um, I don't care about Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I am not a Valentine's fan. I think Mostly though, because Brett and I, like our anniversary is just a couple weeks later, my birthday's a couple weeks later. It makes no sense for us to spend money, you know what I mean, like mid-Feb if like early March we're celebrating like my birthday and our anniversary and stuff like that. So we do not celebrate. 
occasionally he'll surprise me and bring me home a Reese's or something like that. Um, and I like stuffed animals. I'm not a flower person because I'm allergic to everything under the sun, so I don't like flowers. Um, I'm not really a chocolate fan, although since I had COVID and my taste has changed, craving chocolate, which is the strangest thing, um, very odd. But if you do celebrate, what do you do? Do you like to go out to dinner? Do you like to just have, you know, a little adult time? Do you buy lingerie or something like that? I would like to know. Y'all know I'm nosy as hell. Definitely feel like it's pretty true to pan color blending out incredibly well. Their matte formula is one of my all-time favorite matte formulas. It just blends so incredibly well. I've never had issues with it not just kind of creating a seamless blend. Um, it's always stunning. I will say I don't know yet. I have not swatched this yet. You guys have seen the swatches before I'm seeing swatches. Um, I will say that their last release, like the Santa's Village palette, I did not care for the shimmers in there. You really had to work with them. Um, the overall look was fine, but I'm I'm curious to see if this is that same type of formula. So I think we're okay here. And you can see I'm kind of pushing the product in first and then lightly sweeping it across. And then when I have next to zero product on the brush, I am going to blend my edges. I'm gonna go into just a slightly smaller brush, still a fluffy brush, and I wanna go into the shade Dark. I am so excited to try this shade. This one doesn't have too much kick up in it, and it also picked up great on the brush. I'm gonna come, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna come a little lower with this one and really intensify this outer corner. That is just my preference. Do whatever makes you feel like the best version of yourself. I also wanna know if anybody has a birthday around Valentine's Day or do you have a birthday just kind of coming up in general? Happy birthday to you if you do. Um, I'm so excited and you guys are seeing this kind of in real time as this palette launches. Um, I love this concept. I really, really love this color story so I'm hoping that I love how it performs um, so far. The few, so far the couple shades that I've used are definitely true to pan color. I'm not experiencing a whole lot of fallout with this particular shade, which makes me very happy. And I don't typically take my kind of deeper shade all the way across, but I'm going to go in with Tragedy. It's just calling my name. So I think I want to take this all the way across. I normally would do a lighter shade and then really intensify my outer corner and then do a shimmer. But I'm going to flip to the flat side of this brush, still in the shade Dark. And I just want to do a little wash of that shade. I want to go into, I'm going to use the same fluffy brush I was using earlier. And I'm going to go into the shade Tomb, which is a very soft gray. I feel like it feels, again, I have not swatched these. Oh my gosh, that feels incredibly soft. Very, very smooth. It almost feels satin-esque. I'm going to take this right above underneath the brow bone just to make sure again that I have a nice soft gradient there yeah they're performing great I'm gonna get some NYX glitter glue and put it just on my lid now I'm gonna go into the shade tragedy and if this does not work if this is kind of picking up I feel like it is going to. They're just, they're pressed very, very hard in the pan the way that I felt the, whoa, the Santa's Village ones were. Um, but if you use a glitter glue and you kind of really kind of dig and scoop up the product, if that makes any sense, you'll notice a vast difference. You can also go in with an old school, just little applicator, sponge applicator, and that typically picks up the product really, really well. And then we can take that across. Holy freaking crap, that is beautiful. And again, it wasn't it wasn't that it was a bad formula at all with the Santa's Village. You just have to kind of work for it. And I don't feel like it is the same kind of metallic or shimmer formula that I feel like they typically have had getting quite a bit of fallout. Again, that does not bother me, just noting it for you guys. I just feel like they don't pick up the best um, and they're they're just incredibly hard pressed in here. But, 
Oh, that's stunning. And then I'm going to kind of reinforce it and really make it pop with my fingers. The end result is always beautiful. I will say it's maybe just not quite as beginner friendly, but it's beautiful. I'm going to go back in with dark. Oh, I, I love this particular shade. Love. That is stunning. And then I do feel like I've lost a little bit. I feel like I lost a little bit of dagger. So I'm going to go back in with that as well. And that's the thing too. We can go back in. We can tweak if there's something we don't like. But I am overall very happy. I will get up close so that you can see we definitely have a little bit of fallout. But we're going to leave that alone for now and we'll do our base and stuff after our warm tone look and then we'll come back and finish up the lower lash line. That shift. Oh, that is so pretty. Let me just try to get super close for y'all. Alright, and um, I have no idea. I never plan, ever. So, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I think I want to go a little softer with the pink side and maybe use the center shade. So I'm going to kind of start the same type of process. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. I'm going to go into Paradise first, which is that very soft baby pink. And again, I have not felt these yet. I'm feeling them for the very first time with you guys. These mattes feel like they're traditional mattes. They pick up beautifully on the brush. Um, and I've, you know, I'm, I'm obviously only basing it off of one of the, you know, shimmer shades thus far, but I feel like it probably is very similar to the Santa's Village palette where they're just incredibly hard pressed. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just feel like you're going to have to work with the shimmer formula a little bit differently. And this is showing up beautifully. Again, I really love the concept. I love that you can grab this. I mean, obviously, if you're, you know, a neutral beauty, then this maybe is not your cup of tea. But having one really amazing neutral palette and then having this, I feel like you kind of have everything that you need. You know, you can go warm toned, you can go light to dark. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of mid-tone colors maybe on this side. I feel like I would have switched it up just a little bit. I would have loved to seen like a bold, bold, intense red with like maybe a pinky or a goldy shift to it. Um, but overall, I like it. I really, really love the color story. The packaging is absolutely stunning. And Nomad Cosmetics, obvious their preface is, you know, being nomadic, being a traveler. And then taking all of their inspiration from their travels. Oh, I'm also pulling this kind of far out. I will clean up a lot of that before I do my base, but that's just the shape that I'm aiming for this time around. Um, but, you know, taking their inspiration from their travels and putting it into their collections. They also give back, which is something that I really, really love. Um, I'm just, I'm obsessed. And they're, they're good freaking people. And they're not a brand that... If you give constructive criticism or if you say something, they are going crazy on you and they're, you know, being mean and their followers and their fan base is, you know, throwing daggers at you too. They're very much, hey, we're sorry you didn't like this or hey, how could we make this better? And I've had firsthand experience with that and been able to voice my opinion on a particular thing that they had done and be able to voice my opinion. And I think that that is super, super special because a lot of brands and or especially with indie brands, I've had this experience before, not me personally, but through a friend, um, I'm going into Rose, where somebody didn't like something and the brand completely lost their shit on this person. That's not okay. Um, and then, you know, fans of this brand were also coming for this person. First of all, as a fan, you didn't make it. You didn't make the product. You don't own X, Y, or Z brand. So why are you up in arms over it? Why are you going to be hateful and ugly to somebody else? Also, if you are a brand and you did create, you know, a particular palette or whatever the case may be, and you cannot take, you know, criticisms as, you know, an owner, as a business owner, you probably shouldn't own a brand. <laughs> um, that is how we learn. That's how we learn and grow just as, as human beings, as people. You know, if I was sitting on here and I never ever listened to you guys and didn't ask for feedback and, and didn't listen to your feedback, you're not going to come back and watch me. So i um, going into light. So, you know, with a brand, I, I just, I think that it's stupid. I think it's super stupid to not want to listen and, you know, take criticisms 
from the people that are buying your product. To me, that it just makes no sense. But they are a brand that they will 100% say, you know what, how can we change that? Or what were your thoughts on this? And, you know, they want to be inclusive. They don't want to be offensive to anybody. And I love that. And the fact that they give back, I just, they're a great brand, you guys. They're a fantastic brand. And again, all this will be cleaned up. I just want it to be a little bit more pulled out than I typically do. But ignore that. It's going to come together, I promise. I'm telling myself that too. Going back into the light pink, just because I feel like I'll awesome. And I love this particular shade of pink. I will also note that even as dry and textured as my lids are and my little cut, it's still blending incredibly well. NYX Glitter Glue, I'll be right back. Going in now with the shade Cupid. And I would just kind of use the sticky side of my brush. This definitely, it definitely feels like the Santa's Village one. And again, not horrible, but not my favorite. Definitely, I feel like their formula has changed um, in regard to like their metallic or shimmer shades. And again, not a bad thing. You just got to work. You got to work a little harder. That's all. I'm going to go in with my little sponge tip applicator. And it picks up so much better on this. You could also try just using your finger, which is normally what I do. Um, you can also go in with a silicone applicator. It's just that you're going to have to dig. You got to work a little bit harder for these. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going in. I'm definitely going ham. <laughs> but when they're on the lids, they perform beautifully. I think that it's worth the extra effort. I really love the flip in this. And I will say, even with the Santa's Village, I cannot attest to this just yet. Um, the staying power is there, which you guys know for me personally is incredibly important. Yeah, they're just, they're very, very, very hard pressed, you guys. Not my favorite, but impactful on the lids. And that is what is important. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to do my base, brows, all that jazz. Let's come back and finish up the lower lash line. I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, we are back. I went in with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in Light Medium. My Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This is in the shade Warm 190. I went in with my Kosas Powder. I went in with my Hula Glow Bronzer from Benefit. My brows are a She Glam Brow Pencil, and then my Milani Weekend Brow Pen. My primer is my Jouer Anti-Aging Moisturizer Primer. ColourPop Flexitarian for my highlighter. Obsessed, love this stuff so much. My lip liner is the Milani Color Statement Liner in the shade Nude with some Lunar Beauty Gloss on top. This is the shade Divine. And then I went in with my Kosas Brow Gel. So that is the face. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with Dark. And I'm using a really tight packed smudger brush. And then to finish off this eye, I'm going to go in with the shade Morse with a tiny detail brush. I'm going to try to pick it up with my brush first. Yeah, they're just, they're really hard pressed and really flaky if you try to do it that way. Let me try to spray my brush. Obsessed. Obsessed. I love it. All right, let's close up that side. And then to finish up the lower lash line on this side, I think I'm going to go into the shade Quill. Again, using a firm shader brush. And then going to finish off with Cupid, which was the shade that is all over our lid. Yeah, they just don't pick, they don't pick up very well, you guys. I'm going to use my finger. All right, and then to finish up, I'm going to go in on the love side with my NYX retractable liner in white. And then on this side, I'm going to get in with the Cuvine or Queen liner in black. Finish up with some Maybelline Sky High, and we'll come back for some final thoughts. If you are still here, honey, thank you so much. Go grab a drink. Go get a, go get a drink. Grab a snack. I'll be right back. All right, here is our finished look. I will get up close and personal, of course.
All right, some final thoughts. Packaging, layout, theming, the artwork, love. The duality of the love versus death. Um, I, I love it. I love both color stories as separate, you know, nine pen palettes, but I love the color story in both sides collectively as well. I'm going to rate this a four yellow hearts out of five solely because you have got to work with this shimmer formula. In my own personal opinion, this is not the Nomad Cosmetic shimmer that I am used to from previous palettes. Um, I'm not sure if they have a different manufacturer or if they've just kind of changed that formula. And again, it's not bad. It The look is stunning. It absolutely is beautiful. You can build them up. They're long lasting. They're still beautifully impactful. In my opinion, though, they're just not very beginner friendly and you're going to have to work for it. Does that bother me? No. Um, as long as they perform well, everything blends out well and they stay on my eyes and the longevity is there, which it is with these particular shadows. Um, I cannot say that for this palette itself, but even with the Santa's Village one with the, you know, the same formula, it did last all day on my lids. Um, their mattes are supreme, in my opinion. They blend incredibly well. I've never gotten any type of patchiness or anything like that. I don't get any patchiness or anything like that. The grading is beautiful with these. Um, I think that if you love the color stories, I think that if you're looking at this and you're like, oh, this speaks to me and this speaks to me or vice versa, like I love this side and I'm not traditionally a cool tone beauty, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if this were a nine pan by itself, wink, wink, Nomad Cosmetics, I would love to see this by itself and I would love to see this by itself. I think both are phenomenal. But if this does speak to you, if you love Nomad Cosmetics, if you're looking at the packaging and you're like, yes, please, um, and you're willing to put in a little bit of extra effort and maybe use different techniques and or tools for the shimmer formula, I think you'll love it. Um, that is it, beauties. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Thank you to Nomad for gifting me this beautiful palette. I'm excited to have this in my collection. What did you guys think? What is your favorite look? Comment down below. Let's have that conversation. I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.